Do you care about the quality of your guitar videos? I don't know. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. I'm sure many of you guys are such an awesome and talented guitar players, but when it comes to videos... <laughs> But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to film your playing, how to choose the best frames, and how to improve the quality and the atmosphere of your guitar videos. I decided to select my three favorite frames that you can learn all of them and use them on your guitar videos. The first frame. In order to get this frame, you should point the camera or your mobile phone's camera to the headstock of your guitar along the body. So all you have to do is to put the camera in corner of yourself, point the camera at the headstock of your guitar, and try to get this frame that I'm showing in the background. The second frame. This is the most common and awesome frame, which it seems to be easy to get, but with these tricks that I'm going to show you, you are going to make it better and looks really awesome. So in order to get this video, you have to put the camera in the center and exactly in front of yourself. And please do not stick to the background. If it's a wall, a computer, a desk, and be like one or two meter far from your background. This is going to give you more depth of field and more blurry background, which is really important in the filming and shooting videos. Press the record button on your phone or camera, go sit, grab your guitar, start playing for two or three seconds, and go and check it over and over to get something that cover all of yourself and your guitar. The third frame. So imagine you're playing guitar on your YouTube or Instagram and you have to make the listener stay. So what can you do about it? Of course, besides playing awesome and with more feelings, it's all about video. You can easily attract them by recording two or three frames and put them next to each other in some application like Premiere Pro or something easier. So let's get back to the third frame. For example, as you can see in the background, I'm playing on this specific part of my guitar, and the reason is, on that moment, the solo was just on the top of my guitar, so I had like a few seconds to record that specific part of my guitar. If you don't have any photography LED panels or light sources, don't worry, you can easily use light sources like reading lamps. All you have to do is to make your room as dark as possible and point that light source on yourself and your guitar and turn down the ISO and increase your shutter speed. Anything that makes your video darker. And the reason is you and your background are going to get darker but as long as that light sources are pointing at you it will make you brighter and your background is going to be dark. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to sync your audio to all your three frames and switch between them. Okay, now you need to right click on here, press on new bin, then rename it to anything you want, then drag all the files to the new bin that you just made. Then right click on the new bin and press on create multi-camera source sequence. And here you need to press on the audio because while you were capturing your guitar, your mobile or camera was recording the song or audio at the same time as your main microphone was recording it in any DAW. So this is going to find it and comparing two audios and match them together automatically. So press on OK and wait a few seconds. OK, now press on the bin you've just made and you see two files here. One is process clips that all your videos are here 
and the other is the video and the result. So right click on it and press on open in timeline. And it's going to mute all the other lines but the main one which is in the green color. This song is recorded at the studio and now he's playing on the already recorded audio and he's playing exactly at the same time. And the reason is and the reason is this is going to give me some options and one of the options is I can record three or four different frames with only one camera. So for example, at this time of the song, we have two different frames that we can choose any of them that we want. But I recommend you to go by the rhythm. So let's listen to the song and decide by the rhythm. So before that, let me adjust this frame a bit like this and like in here, the middle, I guess. This frame needs some change as well. So zoom in a bit and go to the left side. Perfect. Let's get back to the rhythm. Okay, have you noticed the change in here? So I think this is a good idea to change the frame exactly at this moment. So let's listen it again. Exactly in here. So I cut this to here and attach it here and let's check it out perfect So let me know which one of these frames was your favorite one in the comment section. So thanks for watching and I'd be glad if you support me by subscribing my YouTube channel.